Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zen Tango teacher. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Zen. In this video, we're not really using the Zen Tango method. It's more of a drawing lesson. And I'm just gonna show you how to draw a cute little gnome for the holidays. This gnome can be done at Christmas, Valentine's, Halloween, summer, whatever you want. You can make him Christmassy, you can make him springy, whatever you would like to do. So to make this little gnome, I've got a two inch by two inch Zentangle brand tile called the Bijou Tile. I've got a Micron pen, this one is red. I'm gonna do a little bit of filling in with some red today. Then I just have a black Micron PN plastic nib um, pen, a graphite pencil for some drawing and shading and a blending tool. Really all you need for this is a pen and paper. That's it, you don't need all these fancy things. Okay, so to make this little gnome, I'm gonna start by picking up my pencil and I'm going to put a line across the center, just nice and light. I'm also gonna put a little line down each side about a pencil width in. So about there and there. This is just so that I can keep my gnome about the size that I want him. I've made dozens of these and sometimes they end up really narrow, too wide, too long. So just trying to keep track of what I'm doing here. Okay. I'm going to go to the center line and I'm going to start out by drawing a nose and to draw the nose I'm drawing an oval. So it's about the same size as the edge of a pencil, the end of a pencil. Now I'm going to switch to pen but feel free to keep working in pencil and you can always trace yours at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink in the little oval nose that I started. And I'm gonna put a reflection on his nose just to kind of round it out a little bit. So I always start with the nose when I make a gnome and then I go on to the hat. So to make this hat, I'm going to put a curve shape going from this end all the way up to here, kind of going over. Does that make sense? A little curve. And then we get this little bump here. Then I'm going to do another curve this way. And up and over. There are hundreds of variations on how to make little hats and little beards, mustaches. I'm just giving you a simple version that I like to make. Okay, now at the top of each of these curves, I'm gonna make a little letter C and a backwards C on this side. And then I'm going to aura or follow that curved line. So I'm just gonna go nice and slow, following that line that makes the rim of my hat. So to make the top of the hat, again, there's so many variations. You can make this straight and tall. You can make it wide, wiggly, um, so many cool things. But for this one, I'm going to do, I'm going to do this in pencil just because I want to show you my process here. So I'm going to imagine this middle part being the top of the hat. And I'm going to come down on this side. And on this side, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna leave a space here. So I'm just gonna come down about there. And because I'm working on such a small tile, I'm gonna let my hat hang down on the side. So this one's just gonna come right on over. So we've got this little hill here and we come right over to the side. And then I can go back behind this line and come over and meet that one. A little fold there where the hat folds over and behind. 
And now you can do a ball, you could do a bell, you could do something fuzzy. Um, I think I'm just going to do, I'm going to make mine go down a little bit longer, and I'm just going to add a little round ball. I'm going to ink that in. Just like that. And on his hat, I'm going to put a little patch over here. So just making a, a square shape coming off of the side. Put some little stitches on. And a heart. And I want my heart to be kind of disappearing off the side. Now, if you wanted to, you could make this line of your hat a little bit wiggly to make him look a little bit more scraggly. Mine are pretty straight today. Now, I use these lines on the side because I want my beard to take up most of the rest of this area. I'm going to use my pencil to add one more little line down here because I need a little bit of room for his his legs to show. So I don't want my beard to go below this line. So my beard does not start at the nose. The beard starts middle of this bottom curve of the hat. And I'm just gonna come out on both sides. And then I'm gonna curve up. And I'm going to come out again, and this time I'm going to try to go a little bit further over here. And this time I'm going to start coming down. Curve up and come down. And to finish off the bottom, you can do some big swipes if you'd like. You can just keep it going in that same design. And then right where we started his beard, I'm going to come down. I'm going to imagine the kind of a line behind there. And I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom. And from the middle over here all the way down. And this is going to be his little legs. Now if you'd like, you can add a shoe. You don't have to. And then off of his beard, I'm going to have some arms peeking out. So these are just going to come out like this and in on both sides. And then add a little mitten or a little hand. Inside his beard, I'm going to add a couple swish marks. And now you get to just play around and have fun. So if you would like the rim of his hat to have stripes, you can do stripes. You could do some polka dots. Um, you could leave it blank. I think I'm going to do some polka dots. So I'm going to make some half circles and some whole circles. Just imagining this polka dot rim. And then on his hat, again, so many options. You could do stripes, polka dots. You could draw a picture like a heart. You could do um, any tangle you want from the Zentangle method. I'm going to put in some print top, which is a spiral shape. So I'm just going to pick a spot here, and I'm just going to imagine this light spiral coming out. Like that. 
And this is where I, I planned on using my red pen, but I ended up just sticking with the black. But this would be fun to fill in with a color if you would like. So I've got that spiral there. I'm going to do another one here. This one I'm going to start with a dot and I'm going to go around and around. And now because this gnome was a little bit whimsical and maybe a little bit disheveled, my print tops can be wiggly and uneven. Giving it a little bit more character. And I'm going to jump over that patch. Just making these a little bit silly tonight. And if you have extra spaces, you can start another one or you can just aura the lines that are already there. So very cute. And now I'm going to erase my pencil grid that I made. And I'm going to put a frame around him. So my frame, I'm going to put a little dot here in each corner. One, two three, four, and I'm going to let my frame just go right behind the drawing. It's going to come down here. And this way. I'm going to add another teeny tiny line to give it a double lined frame very very cute and then I'm going to add I've got some space here so I'm going to add sort of a snowflakey star by making a plus sign a little tiny X and some dots do one coming off behind him over here. And do one over there. Okay, I'm going to pick up my pencil now and do some shading. So I'm going to start with this hat up on top. And I'm going to put some pretty thick graphite all along the inside of this hat. All the way around on the inside. And I'm going to go around that patch. I'm going to take my blending tool and I'm going to soften that by pushing it out towards the center of the hat. If I had done those in red, it would have been really cute. There's a cute little hat. I'm going to leave the uh, rim of his hat just like that, but I'm going to put some shading underneath both edges where it goes over the beard, and I'm going to put some shading under his nose. And smooth that out. Very cute. And on his beard, I think I'm going to put it along the outside. Try to pop his beard off the picture a little bit. It looks like it's sticking out instead of laying flat. Let's 
Give him a tiny shadow around his beard. A little extra under his hat rim. And then I'm just going to take my tortillon that has some graphite on it and just add a little bit of texture inside. So cute. So I've got this little ball here and you can make it fluffy. You can make it into an ornament, a bell, whatever you'd like to do. Um, I think I'm going to try to round it out by putting a little decoration on it. Like a little ornament, I guess. I'm going to take my tortillon and just add a little bit of shading on the inside. Like that. That's it. There's our cute little gnome. Have fun. Again, there's so many variations. Play around. Enjoy. Initial your work. Put my initials down here. And on the back, add the date and a little journal entry about what's going on in your life. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful holiday and we'll see you next time. Thank you.